Greetings, everyone. I hope that you're doing very well. And today's lesson is about what does God say about marriage? People all around the world take a hand in marriage. It's a beautiful thing to watch two people that fell in love and decided to make a permanent commitment. Understanding their vows in sickness and death. I've been married for over 20 years. So I understand very well the challenges that take place in a marital relationship. It is very difficult. And so we see many in society have taken a different approach when it comes to marriage. They marry for various reasons some out of traditions, guilt, peer pressure, God had laid out the proper plan for man and woman. In the book of Genesis in chapter 2, Moses wrote about God did not want man to be alone. So he made someone suitable for him. So this started the process of man and woman being together. And see, when we think about today's society, Usually someone has someone marry, marrying them. Maybe it's a judge, maybe it's uh, some pastor, preacher, or some person with a re religious background. But see, in the book of Genesis, God made them husband and wife. God laid out the commands for man and woman, husband and wife, to coexist. And what we see in our world now, people are making marriage to be not godly. And people are getting divorced at an alarming rate. It's just as many divorces as they are in marriage. People are not taking their vows seriously. They act like if things don't work out, then I'm going to take you back. I'm, do, I'm going to divorce you. It's like purchasing something at a, at a store. And if it doesn't work out, you return it. See, that doesn't work in God's eyes. A marriage is a commitment. When I see people who have been married or couples for a great number of years, it brings joy to me that they've stayed 
in that commitment through 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and even some 70 years. And this can be hard for people to fathom. But this is the commitment that God has established. And this commitment is, a, is an example of being devoted to Christ. See, people don't understand very well about marriage. Now, they may understand that they love someone. They may understand the process of getting married. But they're not thinking about primarily the God designed marriage. This is not man made. This is God made. And so it's very different than how someone may look at this process. See, in the Old Testament, people had their difficulties with marrying more than one person. And in a sense, that was allowed. Now in the New Testament, they tried to carry those traditions or that Mosaic law. But Jesus told everyone who heard that you don't leave your spouse unless they are unfaithful. Now we realize that there are situations that can be very difficult to draw that line. We see marriages that are dealing or have dealt with abuse. Not only verbal, but physical. Endangering their lives, their children's lives. And so that can be very difficult for a person to want to stay in, in a marriage. God wants us to be able to go into a marriage with our eyes open toward salvation. To stay the course in a marital relationship. To know his plan for salvation. And not lose sight of his love. The Lord provides comfort, peace, love, and joy. But a person must take an active path to find salvation. And being in a marriage and staying committed in a marriage to have a godly marriage to raise children in a godly environment it establishes the proper foundation the time is right now to know what God has for you To realize heaven is more important than anything else. To see that your marriage matters to God. In the New Testament, the Bible speaks about what God has joined together. Let not man separate. No one is supposed to.